It's time to welcome the only player from Brazil and then the only player from South America in Czech Nina Grand League to welcome him onto the Czech Nina Live. Matt, no glasses, no suit, no disre- doctor disrespect. What is this? I expected something from you, but I mean, what is this? Uh, I, I tried to get myself ready for this, but didn't have much time. I lost my glasses. This is the doctor disrespect we will have for Trekmania. He even loses his glasses. <laughs> The identity suit. revealed yeah the, the suit too much work to get it. <laughs> <laughs> but all jokes aside how is life overall at the moment how are you personally feeling before essentially the biggest tournament in Czech Mania is starting mm, I think it's it's a bit of a different feeling from what I had last year it's more nervousism but in a worse manner I'm like more worried it's not that it's the new game makes it the maps feel all more consistent, but the maps got harder in mm-hmm. every single part. They are they, they they require so much more focus. They they require to, for you to give you your one hundred and ten percent all the time. And training that with the hand issues that I have is it's not motivating. It it really makes me 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 have to take breaks too often or simply not be able to when I want to to train. Hmm. Yeah, the hand issue has been a topic in the past of our interviews. Can you tell us what is the current situation about the hand injury? How much does it actually affect your preparation? Like the last time, like I had went to a doctor and I had like the tennis elbow thingy, but now I'm still like not in quarantine, but I'm like doing the quarantine because Brazil still is being very affected by the virus so i i'm not leaving home too often i haven't gone to the doctors or anything still to check up again so it's like what i know and what i know is it's annoying it hurts it it's it starts growing up pain after a bunch of hours and it's very impressive because when i'm playing like khaki or other stuff that don't require me to keep pressing the the keys that that hard or that often it's actually fine like khaki sometimes need me to just press forward and maybe somewhat sometimes press another key and then tm gel it's pressing break all the fucking time all left right and then then my hand goes down it starts hurting on two way more than playing any other thing hmm but how much does that affect your motivation then? Because you know that you cannot train as much as you want. <laughs> what? It's it's every time when I'm yeah, <laughs> when I'm here. Every happens. time when you hear, but that's okay. So yeah, uh, of course we know that you've been affected with your wrist injuries uh, ever since uh, the middle of the winter season of the Grand League. How has that affected your um, your motivation and sort of your training in a way uh, in the lead up to the fall 2020 season starting on Sunday? Yeah, it's like, uh, it is a scary process, a scary thought to have in mind. It's like, I want to train. I don't want to drive bad, but I really want to have a working hand at 25. (laughs) <laughs> I don't want to destroy my hand just because I'm overtraining. So it is like the conflicting ways of go looking at the situation. And I still do think I push myself more than I should from the current hand situation that I have. But it's I still want more. I'm like the person that wants to digest the game but to, the, all the time. And I can't. I just can't. Hmm. I, I once again, I'm back. Uh, I don't know if G Geek asked the question I was supposed to, but thanks a lot for stepping in, G Geek. That's it's good to have someone behind the scenes that also is good at asking questions. But my I question agree. before I I got shut out by Discord once again during a Matt interview. So I guess like Phoebe mentioned, you are my kryptonite. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see if that continues to be. But the question I was about to ask: Does that affect your motivation overall in this training? Because if I am sort of training for something, I want to know that I want mm. to be 100%. And if I cannot do something 100%, then it starts to be excuses. I cannot be 100%, so then I'm not going to put as much hours into it. So what is your feeling about this? Does this hurt your motivation overall? It does. It does. It definitely does. Like, it's a mix of this feeling and the feeling that I 
I, I still haven't clicked with the maps from this step one at least, so I want to see if the next steps will have maps that suit me more. But the the fact that there is this thing that hurts my motivation and the fact that I don't want to use that as an excuse makes me super mad at myself for having this issue, even though there's no control from me over that. But it's it, it's like a paradox. I, I, it, it makes me want to train, but it, at the same time, I don't want to train because of that. But I still do, and I, I still do think that I train way less than I would. So I keep like ending ending up uh, affecting my motivation all the time. It really affected my motivation about streaming for like the past week or two weeks. I haven't streamed much because like I'm training TM gel and the fact that I'm not driving as good as I think I should, I, I just don't have any even any motivation left to stream even because of how draining TM gel training is. Hmm. But then what goals do you have for this season? Is it just to have fun? Is it to qualify to the playoffs? It is to secure yourself another season? What Do you have any goals even? Like for this first step, I don't think I'll do well. Be be mostly because I don't know. I can do the identities and then I feel the rest, which should be easier. Then it doesn't make sense <laughs> in my head. It, 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 but... I think that I can do well for, for the next steps, uh, like Softy has spoiled some things that I can say, but I think I'll be able to do better. Like if the maps change a little bit, I I think I'll be able to push for what I want. I, I, I really want to get in playoffs, but I don't know, like being high on the pack, if it's on the lower pack, it's good as well. Mm. So then, if you look at the other players, then do you see any favorites? Do you see any sort of surprises? Because at the moment, when I ask people about players they see, it's obviously Carl Jr. and the list goes on and on. But do you maybe, can I ask you, do you see any surprises that can sort of, maybe people are not speaking too much about that. Maybe can take it all. I think it's someone that Spam has cited on his stream after we had the test step. But I, I think... Aurel will surprise us a lot. Aurel is driving really well. He's not setting up the, the super fast times, but he is, but not like the absurd times that everyone is looking at his name. But his consistency and how fast he is being consistent and what he showed at the test app just shows that he's really well prepared. Hmm. Like he's, he is, I don't know, he stepped up more from the from what he was showing on the next game, on the last hmm. game. But then if you look at the players that are outside Jackman Grand League, I spoke to Softy B, he said that he, at the moment he thinks the 16 best players are in Jackman Grand League, so he thinks that eventually if you have to play in a combined, the eight players in Jackman Grand League will beat the eight players from Open Grand League. Do you think that is the case that Jackman Grand League at the moment actually have all the 16 best players? It it's close to. I would I, I don't I wouldn't say that someone is like is or is not in the top sixteen because it, I think like from one day to another that person mm. might fit or might not fit into that uh into that. Yes, and we're close, I think. People from the OGL are going to train a lot and but I still think even if we had the top sixteen players in the TMGL, when we got to the combine even if the combined system is all like cool and tries to favor every kind of player, it would end up in someone switching out of it or someone not being in the top eight or bottom eight just because of how, I don't know, how sometimes Trackmania can vary. Mm. But looking at then the new playoff system for this Trackmania Grand League, is it weird for me to say that that playoff system actually can suit you? Because let's say that there is some sort of weird map coming up, then everybody's like, yeah, this is Matt's the playground. Let's say that that is the case for a playoff, then you can win two rounds in a row and, hey, see ya, I'm qualified to the next round. Do you think that this playoff system actually can suit you better than the cup mode? Yeah, and the fact that it suits me, it's something that I don't like. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it shows that something isn't that right. I, I have a very defined opinion about it, but it's like, I would like a, a playoff system that I would go through if I would be playing good all the maps, not if I just got a single map that I would drive mm -hmm. that well. Even though that is ends up being the fact sometimes for some players in, in playoff systems when it gets to their map. But 
I think I don't know. It could be. It definitely could favor me. Hmm. As, uh, the same way it could favor every anyone, but it, I I would only say it would after like later after more steps after I I have seen more maps to know what what the map making of this those steps will go into like what will it look like and how many fastest laps are you going for this season <laughs> uh, I, i'll try <laughs> I, I i won't get much this this first step but i, I don't know why i i end up with that many fastest <laughs> laps it, it shows my play style <laughs> <laughs> i really like to get to go fast <laughs> Yeah. And then I crash in the other lap. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> but final question from me. Uh, last season we saw it starting off with one of the most funny clip from 2020. Once, uh, was, what was his name? Chicken? Space Chicken? Uh, chicken? Long Chicken? Uh, uh, tall Chicken. Tall Chicken, chicken. yes. Okay, thank you, Jiki and uh, Matt. But who will cast it this season and where can people follow Space Station's point of view? This time, we, the Space Station cast will be Marius89. Oh. And he, he will be casting on his channel. Um, this time, uh, Tall Chicken was not available to cast. And so SSG reached out to Marius to see if he would want to. And that's the, how we are right now. Hmm. Marius will be casting for Space Station, my point of view. Yeah, that's a good caster that you have there. But then final, final question for to mention Space Station. Uh, do they have any goals for you? Have they said that they want you to actually place somewhere? Do they want to go you to the playoffs? Do they want to win it? Do they just want to save it in the combine? Have they told you what they expect? I think we haven't talked much about this season. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the shortest answer. We we have spoken a lot while I was doing my cup, and we had the goals for last season, but we haven't talked about goals for this season. We mm. simply haven't. Mm. Well, all I can do then is wish you good luck on Sunday, but more importantly, wish you good luck overall in this season, and I hope that future map packs you to and. But more importantly, I hope this sort of wrist injury won't be sort of the storyline for your overall season. So keep us updated and don't be surprised if I'm going to invite you back on the Track Mini Live. Then hopefully not to only speak about your wrist problems. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eirik. And maybe I should fix my Discord before I invite you back, but that's another story, right? <laughs> <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for Matt. I don't, I don't dare to have him on anymore. We have to go and then a little break now, and then Yannick is coming up. Thank you a lot, Matt. But also, yeah. Thank yeah. you guys so much for this. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs>